Okay, so in this next one, we're looking at a crate or cabinet. It's got a certain mass. Uh, it's rolling down and we need to find its acceleration and the normal reaction at A and B, okay? Now, this is a tilted situation. And so as is often very useful, what we wanna do is to make our coordinate system tilted to match. So I'm gonna call that X, we'll call this Y. <clears throat> now let's get our forces on there. So of course we've got our weight here and a normal force at A here and a normal force at B here, okay? Um, <clears throat> now let's go ahead and, and just to help us remember, we have to break our weight into parallel and perpendicular components. So we've got the parallel component here, which is mg sine theta, which is 15 degrees. And then we have the normal component uh, of the weight, which is the mg cosine theta, okay? So now we, we go ahead and we take a look at our other equations that we have, all right? So we've got our F equals MA. And remember that um, down, the, down the slope was what we called positive X. So in that direction, we had MG sine theta, and that has to be equal to MA. All right, well, pretty standard stuff. A is just G sine theta. And when we put in uh, 9.81 and when we put in 15 degrees, we get that the acceleration is 2.539, okay? And that's meters per second squared, of course, okay? Now, let's see what's happening in the vertical direction or my, I shouldn't say vertical, but we should say the Y direction. And so in this case, we had in A plus in B minus mg cosine theta. And there's no acceleration uh, in the y direction because um, again, it's not gonna just suddenly fly off of the ramp like that. But this is the equation we get here. And uh, once we plug in for well, we'll just leave it like that for just a second, okay? And now let's go visit our third equation, okay, which is the sum of the moments. And so this guy then, if we're gonna pivot about the center, okay, then let's start with NB there. So we've got NB and it's a distance of 0.5 from the center Okay, so the line of action is, um, yeah, 0.5 off of it there. Um, but it's also in the negative direction. The other one is in A and it's off 0.5. Okay, and that has to equal zero. Okay, and so we get this kind of interesting situation here where the, the two normal forces, even though this thing is in an angle, uh, are the same, okay? Which is a little bit of a surprise, a little bit of a surprise. But we take that result and put it in over here, okay? So we've got two in A is mg cosine theta, and in A then is gonna turn out to be 379, just like that. Let me zoom out so you can see the whole thing here. I had to change my, my recording um, style temporarily. 